Uh, dark spots are a sign of aging. From a medical standpoint, dark spots, otherwise known as age spots, sunspots, you know, solar lentigenes, actually it's more a cumulative process of the decline of the skin's ability to recover. With constant sun exposure over the years and without active and intentional sun protection, what happens is that the skin is deteriorating, its ability to tan, its ability to recover, and also goes slightly downhill. You end up with sometimes patchy skin or sometimes areas of dark spots. So it's important to understand you know, these dark spots, they form when the melanocytes are more active due to certain triggers and then these will form more melanin and melanin collects and you form the dark spot. Often these are well-defined brown to dark brown spots, especially in the sun exposed areas. So we know that as we get older and also with the sun always being a factor, with the decline of our skin integrity, we get loss of the skin barrier function and also the epidermal turnover does slow down over time. So this makes it hard for the skin to shed the excess pigments, subsequently also recover from photo damage. So ultimately, we find that the accumulation of dark spots are really more an indication of cumulative photo damage rather than pure chronological aging. The contributing factors include the following. Chronic sun exposure. I mean, this happens day in, day out. When you're young, we didn't really think much about our sun protection. Sometimes out on the beach, you get sun tan, you get sun burn, and this accumulates over time. The skin does deteriorate, and because of the accumulation of the deteriorated ability of the skin, we can form these dark spots. Skin aging does also come into play because there are intrinsic factors like our genetics, hormonal influences as well. This reduces the skin's ability to repair and regenerate as we get older. And this also results in the pigmentation being more persistent and more prominent over time. Another important factor is the presence of inflammation or some form of injury as well. This can come in the form of acne, sometimes eczema, and also some various forms of trauma. We find that scratching from an insect bite can lead some marks behind, often known as post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And this is more rampant in individuals with darker skin tone. A very important contributing factor is hormonal influences. And we see this a lot in melasma. Melasma of pregnancy, melasma as we age, you're on 40, 50, 60 years old, the skin is deteriorating. And with other hormonal influences, we find that the pigment gets a little bit more messy as a result. So with melasma, it's different from age spots in that messy, meaning that it's a little bit more dispersed, a bit more patchy. It can be symmetrical, often seen in cheekbone area, sometimes at the lateral parts of the forehead, the temples, and even around the lips as well. And this is often triggered by the fluctuations in the estrogen and progesterone.